Hello everyone, welcome to MCM Mokas Venture and this is something that you like, comment, subscribe guys, welcome back. Hey, I'm going to talk about a short, 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 short article, like it's going to be a short episode, I hope. <laughs> you know, I've been complaining about Vuma of late. Vuma, he started very well, but now he has considered like getting goals in 12, in 13 goals in 6 games. I think, I think in six games, if not seven, but yeah, 13, and some of those goals, you're like, ah, Vuma, you could have done better, and sometimes his distribution has been off, and sometimes he calls the ball, and then next thing, he comes back, goes back to his position, calls the ball, and then the defenders, like, they just wait, because they're not be punched, so that they're not, in, uh, they're not uh, knocked out, and then next thing, he loses the ball. And already the concentration of these defenders is not there because they thought that he's going to hang the ball. And his distribution, like, yeah, hasn't been good. Not because one is comparing him with Kuni. No one can be like Kuni. I don't care who says what. And then, so many of you are like, but we don't need a keeper. And I ask you this, who's our first choice? Is Vuma a first choice by default? Is he, is he a first choice because he deserves to be a first choice? He has fought for it. No, the answer is no, because Spitzerson had performed blunders and then uh, Vuma came in, confidence was there, kept us, gave us clean sheets, came in, came out here and there. And then when he started considering, but every game has been considering. Every game has been considering. Some will say, but it doesn't have the fact that our defense is also chopped. We keep on changing and chopping our defense as well. Sure, that has to do with that, sure, but also the organization, do you know how to organize the defense? When we are getting, uh, when you're considering a, a corner, do you know how to organize your defense? Do you speak to your players? Do you say to them, okay, you cover the first pole, and then this is the type of marking we're going to do, zonal or man to man, what kind of marking are you going to do? That also comes with a keeper who's smart, who knows how to do organization of, the, of, of this back. Uh, team or back line. So it's been considering goals uh, and the age is not on his side in a sense that yes, you know what could keep us they play until they are late ages and forties and whatnot. But I think it's 28 if not 29. And my thing when I say that probably age is not on his side. I mean in terms of learning basics. I mean, in terms of him learning basics, I think at the moment, yes, now he has become more vocal, something that I admire and I and I appreciate of him, that now he's become more vocal. You see him not necessarily running after the ball, but you see him shouting at the players, commanding and whatnot, but, but basics, 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 like an organization defense, distributing the ball, when do you kick up, when do you play short, uh, when the cross comes in, when do you shout? It's yours. Are you confident enough you're going to get to the ball or not? If not, you don't shout. You sit uh, You sit in your six-yard area. And if you see and you're confident that you're going to get to it, you shout. Come out of your six-yard. Go and punch in the ball and handle it. Like Those basics. Distribution. The things that are like, this is basic. You don't have to be cool for you to know the basics. There are things that are basic in terms of distributing the ball. And while Kune is still there, there's so much that they can learn if they're not learning already with other keepers. But it's up to an individual. But I would say to you, and I'll still say this next year, Vuma should be our first choice. Not to say that he should start games. Hear me well. There's a first choice, and there's there are those guys who start the game now and again. If he fights for the for the for the for 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 for, for the starting lineup, sure, so be it. But you find players, they have a keeper who plays league, and there's a keeper who plays uh, tournaments, for example. And you find that a keeper, there's a keeper who plays a league and tournaments. But somewhere, somehow, there'll be those tournaments or those games where they, the coach would say, nah, on this one, you might be our first choice. You go, second choice, go. Go and show us that you deserve to start 
are these games. Go and show us that you deserve to start these games and then they'll give those chances to those keepers. But Vuma for me is not a first choice goalkeeper. He's not a keep. Let me show you he's not a first choice goalkeeper. Will he go there and keep for Santos? No. Will he sit Rowan down? No. Uh, will he go and keep for Orlando Pirates and be their first goalkeeper choice? I'm not sure. I'm not sure that he can be a uh, first choice. Can he be the first choice for Stephen Bosch? Probably, I don't know. Can he be the first choice for Tim Scalax? Probably, I don't know. But you look at the team, and this is what the article, like where I'm going with this article. You look at the teams like your Bay, Richards Bay. Yeah, let me mention Richards Bay. You find that there's a keeper there, but because the keeper is not really protected, and you might like think that the keeper is not a good keeper. Because he's not protected. He's not protected. There's this keeper who was playing against Sundowns who kept, who helped, uh, was it the last game or oh, game prior? I think it was a game prior where they got uh, a draw. I think it was a game prior. I don't remember that team, but he's a loaning from, uh, from Sundowns. That guy looks like he's a good keeper. Looks like he's a good keeper. So, Vuma would not be a first choice if we were to buy the player. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. So this guy, this article is about that guy from a... That keeper from... From Richard's Bay. Sorry, that keeper from Richard's Bay. It says, now, because Kesa Chiefs is quiet, he's not saying anything, he's not telling us whether they sign this keeper or not. But for me, as for me, we need two keepers. If Peter Sim, we are selling him or we're loaning him, Kune is retiring, that means that we are left with Vuma. Remember the account of Malefi and other, other keepers, but we need two keepers. One experience and one will be a backup. Oh, we have a groom, one of the youngest ones, like Malefi or the other one. We groom them in such a way that there will be a first choice and then be a second choice and the second choice will be Vuma. But we don't have to go, we can't go, we can't go to the markets and say that we want someone who competes with Voma. We can't go and say we want someone who competes with Voma. We want a first choice, we need to be clear with that. We want a first choice goalkeeper because Voma is not a first choice goalkeeper. Let's be clear then. So we need a keeper who's gonna be a first choice keeper and Voma will be a second choice. He'll come and play in those games when there's a need be, or if it's not necessary for that guy to. Go and keep, for example. So we need a first choice. People need to be clear with that. First choice go keep. So this guy, for me, for me, I'll say we need to give it a shot. We need to give it a shot. But now we are facing competition. Why? Because some will say that hey, it's because no, we are slow at signing players and whatnot. I'm not gonna debate that. So it's an article from the citizen. It says that. Kesa Chiefs face competition for in-demand Charles Bay goalkeeper Salim Maholwa. I think it's Maholwa. The Ugandan, Ugandan is a target at Naturena where they are looking for a show up to show up their goalkeeping department in the future up in the air. Richard Bay boys are open at selling the 27-year-old uh, to their highest bidder, although his camp prefers Kesa Chiefs at at the end of the season, Mahola, who has made 24 league appearances this season, is, is being monitored by Sportsport and Cheaper United. I'm going to continue that article. So, this guy prefers to go to Kaiser Chiefs. Sportsport is there, Cheaper is there. Why? I think because of what has been happening of late, our team appears as if it's not a team to go to for some player. But because of the name, because of the brand of Kaiser Chiefs, there are players who still want to play for Kaiser Chiefs. One, two, because of the brand, and two, because of the history that this club, this club has. So there are players who believe that Kaiser Chiefs can still get back where he belongs. And they want to be part of that. They want to be part of that history. They want to be part of that rebuilding. So this guy, and three, could be, could be that this guy says that there are high chances of me playing at Kesa Chiefs than to play Chipper United or to play at, at Super Sport. Oh, three and a half or four. Some will say there are more chances 
and Keza Chiefs of winning something versus Super Sport versus Cheaper. So those four points could be the reason why we're still able to attract other teams. Oh, attract rather other players. That could be the reason why we're still able to attract. But had it not been for our history, especially on the brand that came through the history and what we have won, I don't think our players, I don't think players at the moment would have looked at Chiefs and said that that's a club I want to play for. But it doesn't take away what Keza has done. Keza has done so much for this club to be where it is. I took a condition to read like this, inverted commas. Chiefs are not the only club who are after selling. And we'll see how everything unfolds. The player prefers a move to Keza Chiefs because they are a big club. But Super Sports and Chippewa United are also interested, says the source. Remember, Chippa are expected to sell this tenant Noali, Noabali, Noabali. And they are also see they also see Steve Salim as a perfect replacement for him. The Ricardo boss will also leave Super Sport to return to Santans, and that is why they are also interested. Mahala Salim has kept seven clean sheets for Richards B. There is a feeling that he would flourish at the club with the better resources than the club and KZN. To add on that, to add on that, had that defense been good, I want to say like Kezach is because our defense also is leaking, but had their defense been good, this guy could have kept more clean sheets. In 24 games, he has kept seven clean sheets. And you check the goal defense where these guys are, they are second there, second from the bottom. Had their defense been good, this guy could have kept more clean sheets. I mean, he has kept half of clean sheets that Rowan has kept, which Rowan has kept 14. This guy has kept half in a team small as that, in a team leaking as the Shaz Bay. Someone would say, but even in Kansas City, could have leaked the same amount of goals and probably clean sheets. Sure, it could have been true, but it could have been better than these guys because they've considered more goals. They've considered more goals. So, let me know your thoughts. What have you seen about this guy? Do you think that it can be the first choice, not competing, first choice called keeper? And if not, why not? And if there's another, another keeper for you, who would be that keeper? Which keeper would you want? I'm out, guys. I've seen Marcus Vincent. Love you here. Sunday. Bye.